Hello. Hello. You know what I've been thinking? What? Shanty would be a fine thing. A fine thing indeed. Good night, everybody. Yeah. We're not going to exceed that level of comedy. No. So, um, the more observant and psychic among you may know that we're recording this on a Saturday. Saturday afternoon, no less. Yes, which is which is not our usual time. Usually we um, we do it on a Thursday night after I finish work because I don't work on Fridays and couldn't care less. But <laughs> for some reason... I, George, I stay up till midnight anyway. Sorry, <laughs> what's it matter, right? Jordan is suitably bored. And uh, I ain't got a lot on either, to be honest. So we're doing this now. So this will be not next week, but the week after videos. Yeah. Which helps because I'm going away for two weeks. So uh, yeah, where do I, I remember? Go? I, I, I remember at some point suggesting that we do some extra videos to make up for that, and we're like, "Nah, be fine." We that's what we said last time. Idea. Well, I, I, I've assumed your stance wouldn't have changed on that. Well, it has. Oh, okay. Well, suddenly it's a great idea. So. Recording. Better be. Right. I always thought this, char char this character is entirely fucking pointless, and they give him a name. He's called Doc. Aren't most characters pointless? In well, much? no, but he, he exists only to tell you that, sorry, he, the guy you're supposed to see isn't here. You'll have to go to the museum. Oh, but that entire little side plot is useless. Someone's got to tell you that he's not there. I know, you're supposed to go here to deliver him Captain Stern the, the blueprints or whatever. Doc tells you he's not in here and that you need to go to the museum. The only purpose why you have to go here is to see the team aqua people lined up outside. It's kind of pointless. Well, that's Pokemon. There's so much pointless stuff. Oh, They're making you pay to go in. I know. Fucking oh, rip off. Capitalism. I think, I if, I think if you there. don't have the money, they let you in. I better. Because, I mean, you could soft lock yourself. But, um, yeah, they you do could. let you in, regardless. It's like the Safari Zone, I think. I think in Pokemon Yellow, if you nag them enough, and you don't have any money, eventually they just say, yeah, okay, fine, whatever, here's one ball. Hmm. I can relate. Yeah, okay, let's lead with uh, these two. So, if if we had nuclear obliteration... What? If there was going to be nuclear explosions going on... Well, right. In like four minutes. Four minutes. Okay, if, if, I, minutes. Had, if I had a four-minute warning, yeah. okay. If you had a four-minute warning, much like in the Mark Owen song... Who? What would you do? What would you do? Um... I'd, I'd said that. Right, okay, like, right now, I'd prob well, I'd probably, uh, I would leave this video, I'd oh, say goodbye okay. to you, I'd, uh, I'd, I'd pop downstairs, I'd sit in the sun and I'd have a cigarette, and maybe put on some appropriate music, and uh, that's how I would go, and I think that's probably the good way to go. I'd clean anyway. out the airing cupboard and sit in it. What? I'd clear out the airing cupboard and sit in it. You try and survive, would you? Well, I mean, I might as well. Right. And you think? I. I mean, I'm going to be honest. If there's a nuclear catastrophe, I think I'm better off dead. Because it's oh. the quality of life is going to just plummet. Well, yeah, but you've got to do something, haven't you? you I'd rather. You? I'd rather go out fighting. <laughs> well, cowering in a cupboard, than pissing yourself. Yeah. I would rather no, go out with some degree of dignity, doing something I enjoy. Yes, yeah, well. Rather than, you know, scrunching an existence. Radiated fucking rocks. No, that's only if you go outside within 48 hours. Every, that's yeah, when you call that service. I don't think I'd want to live. If, if in some sort of armor, most Armageddon situations, if my family was safe and I was essentially had no real responsibility, I could see myself enjoying some of these situations. Um, but I mean, a lot of it is just going to be I'm hungry, I try and get food, I get shot. Yeah. Why? People around here with their guns because everyone's got guns around here. Their mums. All the military. Like who? What? Like who? 
Like like who what? Like who's got guns? Farmers and farmers' mums. They do some shooting in the summer. I don't know whether they're shooting grouse or whether they're just shooting. It's clay pigeon shooting. I suspect it's clay pi pigeon shooting. Could be peasants. Could be. Someone's got to do it. Did you, ever, did you ever play Ruby or Sapphire? No. Do you, you know what the teams are trying to accomplish? No. Well, uh, I may as well talk a little bit about that. I can still some thoughts on it. On Team on. Aqua wants to make more water for Pokemon. Hang, hang on a sec. Before you do, is that the SSN? What? The the model? The model boat. One yeah. of them is. I think this might be. Yeah, it is. Yeah. The music. I, see. I knew a thing. The music is also from the SSN. I can't hear the music. I think. Yeah, it is. Um... But yeah, Team Aqua want to make oh, more... Oh, uh, What? I'm, I'm getting a phone call, which is really annoying. So I'm going to have to answer that, and then you carry on. Okay. Well, uh, Team Aqua want to make more water. For uh, the sake of Pokemon. And Team Magma want to expand the landmass for the sake of uh, humanity. I actually think that's kind of a really interesting uh, concept. The idea of finding some sort of balance between the natural world and the hu human one. But... It sort of goes off the rails a little bit in later installments. Um, not the uh, villainous team plans. That was Scott again. He's going to pop up constantly. Um, the villainous team plans aren't so great. Like, uh, when you get to um, Lysander in... Um, that's a name rating. We're not going in there. Fuck you, Jordan. I like gobble the way it is. Um... Uh, oh, not again. Um, yeah, Lysander in um, X and Y. It's like some weird genocidal beauty contest thing. Jesus Christ, I don't know what I walked back into. But... <laughs> I heard the mic go and I thought I'd better say something a bit crazy. But yes, I was just I was just uh, illuminating the viewer on uh, Villainous Team. Who was the okay. phone call from? Oh, it was uh, a debt advice agency who, because I have some uh, unsecured debt that I am managing, they so ring up so regularly asking if I need advice on my debt that I'm managing perfectly fine. It's like, no. And I get phone calls like two, three days. Every every two, three days I get phone calls off these people. It's like, no, I don't need it. Go well, away. That's because they think they can make money out of you and you know, and they know you're not particularly good with money or at least haven't been in the past. They... You know, and it's a stressful yeah, well, thing. It's an easy sell. I can get you out yeah, of this not, hole not you've dug yourself. I'm getting myself out of the hole. I know, but a lot of people can't. Through no yeah, fault well. of their own. No, uh, absolutely. These people like to take advantage of that. Yeah, but no one can take advantage of me. That's not true. Give me a cider and promise me an orgasm. Mm. Bro, oh God, you're so easy. But I suppose that's, what, that's the whole point of what we were just saying. I know. I suppose you have to be, don't you? Really? Why do I have to? Be? Well, not well. It's it's a fair strategy, I should say. You know. I to be honest. I don't even have to promise me more than <laughs> sort of. Uh, you ask a hundred people if they want to sleep with you. Uh, one of them is bound to go. Uh, yeah, all right then. Go on. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, might as well. I've got nothing better to do. It's only a Saturday afternoon. It's a lovely day too. We could be outside. I've been outside. I went out for breakfast. The, uh, I had a full walk, English breakfast throughout the beans. Walk on up to the, uh, the book stall that we have in the village. It's like uh, you, you leave people leave books they don't want there and... Uh, there are other ones you can pick up, and that's pretty pretty nice to have. It's it's worth pointing out that we don't live in the same village, and so I don't have that option. Well, he doesn't live in a village. He lives in a shithole. Yeah. That's <sighs> true. I spoke to my mortgage advisor, my mortgage broker, whatever the hell they're called, and he says what I want is very doable. <laughs> well, it's his job to tell you that. No, well, he, it is. It is his job, but... I mean, he wouldn't try if it wasn't possible. Yeah. I don't You're know. far too cynical. I, would... I don't think 
he would turn around and say, yeah, sure, it's possible. I definitely saw that for you. And then fail completely because then I'd just go, right, why? I mean, he doesn't get paid until something goes through. So he would just be wasting everybody's time. Yeah, but the longer you're drawn into the process, the more likely you're going to stick it through. Well, not necessarily. If it lasts too long, I'll say, fuck it, this isn't working. I need to take a better bit of advice or a, or a different... Um... One of my mates does mortgages. Sorry? One of my mates does mortgages. Really? Yeah. He used to work at a betting shop, and now he does mortgages. Same thing, really, isn't it? Pretty much. Yeah, you know, I think anybody could have seen that joke come in. That's why I didn't do it. Right, this is one of my favourite places. It's the trick house. A dome by a weirdo. Let's take a look. Where could he be? Where could he be? Cowering under the table. What a weirdo. What well, a we found out about the nuclear apocalypse. Yes. But I, I loved the trick house as a kid. The, at the end of the game, we might not see this. I might not do the trick house that often. But uh, he, he, we beat all his traps. And... Uh, all his challenges and he goes to distant lands and I've always sort of wondered where he's gone and I miss I miss the trick master. I wonder if maybe he's just on drugs. Maybe. Maybe this is just some wealthy uh, eccentric druggy. Uh, he's just <laughs> setting up uh, weird little uh, mazes. Strangers who stumble upon his house. Do you want to play a game? Yes, that's what this is. This is Pokemon Saw. Mm. But there's no moral lesson at the end of it. Yes, the only lesson is have fun. There wasn't really any moral lesson in Saw's traps either. Some of them were oh, somewhat. No, he was just a guy who liked killing people and just found it some got, vague moral excuse for it. It definitely derailed. Yeah. I will say that. Like the bloke that. the smoker in one of them. That's a ridiculous. And I, I sort of. I lost it around the third one to be honest with you i think the third one's the point where i i, I lost the faith in the series but the first one brilliant did you know do you know when the first one's set when yeah is this one of those things like um friday the 13th where the timeline is so skewy it uh oh i didn't get the thing where well, the timeline is so skewy it sort of um ends up being set There's... like three or four years either side of when it's actually made through no completely the unintentionally first... The first one is set on a particular day. Is it 9-11? It's the day before 9-11. Why? I don't know why it's the day before 9-11. But it happens to be the day before 9-11. So, like, even if Fred got out, they were going to have a shit day the next day as well. It's good news for Jigsaw, though. Oh, yeah, he's not going to be the big news item, is Exactly. He? A good day to bury bad news. This was yeah. a... Oh, a lucky egg. That's a fucking great gift. This thing is going to double experience for us. Oh, okay. Something's holding it. I, don't, I think it just boosts it. I don't think it doubles it. It might be 50%. I don't know. Why is everything so well made and then that other place has got a fucking. That, that, the other door is rickety and ridiculous. What? The other door looks like shit. What, this door? Yeah. The one on the right looks fine. I, 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 I'll be honest, I have no idea. It just leads to this tunnel. It takes you back to the start. I that assume. takes you back to the start. Well. Maybe we can do another one. Can we do another one? Have we unlocked enough? No, we can't. Hmm. Shall we talk about some news items while they're more relevant than they will yes. be for the next video? You might remember last time we spoke about Philip Schofield. Well, mm. time marches on. And uh, we'll probably march on still when uh, this video comes out so he might have gone fucking postal and kidnapped holly willoughby and be held up in the this morning studio but been uh, dropped by itv yeah and, and his this, agent this this broke this, this story broke the day after we filmed the last lot yeah so it's, it's like yeah because you know we want to be somewhat topical i mean it's the end of his career really isn't it Probably. I do. I mean, he says you know. unwise, but not illegal was the term he used. Yeah. He doesn't fill me with confidence. He um, he knew the person when they were trying to get into the 
uh, industry, but they didn't start a relationship with all, until they were already established. It seems a bit groomy, though. It does. And it's certainly it an imbalance of power. I don't think it's uh, flexed particularly well on him. Oh, yeah, this cave. Um, well, it's we can't really do anything. It leads to a leads to the game corner in Orville, which we will get to maybe even in this episode. But, uh, yeah, but uh, that's the end of his career, and I have a feeling he's probably going to pop up on GB News or something. Yeah, I mean it's close enough to Good Morning Britain, isn't it? Uh, how how he was cancelled for being gay? Okay. And he'll be their token the homosexual. That's what he'll be. No, I've already got Andrew Neil for that. Now Andrew Neil's their token. Um, no, but he's not. He's not a token uh, bigot. They've got plenty of him. No, uh, they've got a vicar who's a, a cunt. Have they? Yeah, he was dressed as a vicar. He might have been doing a shit joke. Uh, you see, the thing is, you can dress as something and not be it. Look at Roger Waters. <laughs> yes, who what, is... a, what a lovely segue. <laughs> That was very convenient, wasn't it? Is it a segue? Yes. Yeah, yeah. He, yes. He's been he's been criticised for dressing up as a fascist in Berlin whilst doing a a set uh, that involved songs from a an album slash film that featured a fascist character. Or the wall. Yeah, which is one of the few albums I've listened to in its entirety of that length. Mm. It's a fucking long album. Um, I actually wrote something a while back that included someone listening to it whilst I was listening to it, mm. so it could be in some way relevant to what was going on. I, um... Oh, you know. Well, okay, so I first saw this, and I took it at face value, because I don't know anything about Roger Waters, is it? Yeah. Or Pink Floyd, really. But I saw that and thought, oh, okay, maybe is he that guy who did all that racist stuff? I, that wasn't him, that was somebody else I was thinking of. But then somebody mentioned it was the wall and sort of explained it and I thought, oh yeah, I know that and I know that because Nostalgia Critic got butchered for doing a shit review of it. <laughs> hmm. Um, but it, I was talking to my partner about it when we went out to Brexit and I was like, it's one of those things where context is such an important aspect of the situation. Yes. But to deny it the context is to misrepresent the entire situation. You, It's not a bad thing to portray a Nazi. The bad thing to portray the Nazis as right, so. and the whole the whole thing was maybe the depiction of Anne Frank and the imitation gun shooting into the crowd might have been a bad idea, uh. but the the presentation of the, the fascist outfit and the yeah, it's, it's not inherently wrong. In yeah, I mean, look, when are they going to come for other people who have portrayed Nazis in in media just because they're like. Schindler's List. When are we going to get... Uh, uh, was it Ralph Fiennes was in that? Yeah. When are we going to get him for playing a Nazi in that? I don't know. Exactly. But, uh, it's... Well, I don't... When are we going to get Mel Brooks? Yeah, I don't... I don't blame the Jewish community for being so hair-trigger about this sort of thing. Um, well, no, but it's, again, it's well, about... It's, it's very... Yeah, but it's very... It's a very real thing for them. Like, within living memory, there was an attempt to wipe them from the face of the earth and millions of them were killed. Here's so a question for you. They've been, they've been, they are the most persecuted people in human history. 2,000 years of this. Well, so I, I, I absolutely not be entirely get, I absolutely, comfortable. I, abso I wouldn't be entirely comfortable saying that they're the most persecuted people in history. They absolutely are. Because, well, it's, it's one of those well, things where, because we are, we are neither of them, weighing up the difference between, the, between black people and the Jewish community, in terms of their, their persecution over the years and their mistreatment, is, no, is something I think... that I'm difficult to do. Well, yes, all right, but I still, I, I, well, I kind of think they are, and I, I get why they're so um, on it with things like this and so concerned about it. I want to know how they keep pissing people off. Or if they hadn't killed Jesus, allegedly. that was the Romans. No, the, the, he was sold out by Jewish people, apparently. Well. It was a... Um, anything for 50 shekels. Conspiracy. Sold him out. Betrayed him. That's something about the Wolfenstein games that is amusing. I've probably already mentioned it already. Is that the whole Nazi argument is that the Jewish were trying to take over the world or whatever. And whatever. All this power that they've got. 
And in Wolfenstein, which is a game where you play an anti-Nazi who kills a lot of Nazis in an environment where the Nazis have got so much technology that they basically win the war. Yeah. It turns out that the Jewish were, in fact, hoarding advanced technology. My God, the Nazis were on just... And, like, there's a point. In the second game, you, you find Hitler on Venus, and he's this old, pathetic man. On yeah, Venus. the planet Venus. The planet Venus. The Nazis have established the colony on Venus. As right. Of, just to, in the second game... No, not the second game. The second game of the remake, when they, when they remastered it in, like, the last 10, 15 years. Yeah. Hitler is making a movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he's old and he pisses himself. Yes, and I've he's seen. He's fucking pathetic. Yes. So, yeah. That's a thing. Okay. So... It's a good game, though. You get to kill a lot of Nazis there. That's back, always a plus. Thing. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd never slay the game for letting me kill Nazis. They might yeah. have other things wrong with it, but if you let me kill a Nazi, let's do it. Of course, you can always just play uh, GTA or something and pretend everybody's a Nazi. And honestly, because it's America, you're probably not wrong half the time. I don't think. I think. I think that's a very um, inflammatory statement that could, in many ways, get us in trouble. Okay. And I know the irony of me saying that. Yeah. I saw a video recently where someone in America had been protesting against the Jewish community because they control everything and it's not appropriate they control everything. And a Jewish guy walked up to him I know. and said, I've go away. It <laughs> and it's just brilliant because it's like, clearly that's not the situation. But if you believe it, well, you might as well follow it, right? Oh. He's taking the piss and the guy just got annoyed at being challenged. Himself. Hmm. That's how you know if someone's wrong, really, isn't it? Like if, if they know they're wrong. It's just challenging, and if they if they get shitty with you, no, not necessarily. Most of the time, no. Well, some of the time, but uh, sometimes it's time. just like, you know, if you make an, a well reasoned argument and somebody comes back with just complete bullshit that you sort of can't, it's so insane you can't even really disprove it. And even if you did, they wouldn't accept it. I mean, there's no point arguing with them, is there? Aliens. Hmm. Did you hear, whilst we're on, on in the inflammatory comments, yeah. did you hear that people are arguing that they should remove of mice and men from the GTSC curriculum? Why? Because of the N-word. Oh, okay. And, and, such, and such comments. I think... See, when stories like this are reported, it always seems like the left as a body are trying to do this. But it's really just a few people who are idiots. It did read very much like it was being started by a single black girl in a school that took offence to the situation. Again, outside of context. Well, I mean... I, we we are white should... guys. The word means nothing to us in terms of... No, um, well, it means a... Well, I get it. I, I mean, I get it, but it's a, it's a context thing again. Yes. It's like... People take everything out of context and then they get offended by it. Now, actually, in the context of what, when it's used and why it's used, it makes sense. Well, it's it's still an ugly word. Like, I get why she's uncomfortable having to read that. Um, but, I mean, the teacher... But it's should... meant to make you uncomfortable. Uh, what? Yeah, but it's, it's not... Meant... It's not... Okay, but I don't think that's enough. I think that's a really hollow argument. I think... Uh... I'm not saying you should ban the book, I don't think you should, but I think you need to be open about uh, experiences and what this word means. I'll be honest with you, I'm not entirely convinced you should ban any book. Oh, oh God, are you a free speech absolutist? Well, I, it's like the minute you ban a book, you, you sort of, it gets a bit right wing, doesn't it? Doesn't matter what the book is. Well, pick a book that you think it's appropriate to, to ban. And I guess Mein Kampf springs to mind. Okay, but what is inherently wrong with Mein Kampf itself? Well... Hitler wrote it. Not just that Hitler wrote it. Hitler wrote it as a, as a manifesto for you know, racial uh, genocide. Racial okay. um, discrimination really isn't a hard enough word, but uh, 
know what I mean. I think I think free speech absolutists have such a fucking rosy view of people that people are reasonable and you can trust their judgment and they will weigh up both sides but they're not most people absolutely most, you absolutely most cannot. people are fucking idiots do not you know if you cannot trust them you have to treat them like children can you they handle this material are they gonna you know is giving them this is it gonna have a net um cost to society it's the same reason why people don't you know if you if you tell racist or transphobic jokes or whatever it con it, you're contributing towards turning these people into jokes and once you do that it's easy to dehumanize them and once you do that it's easy to either approve of or ignore policies that that oppress them that's the point it's not it has nothing to do with offense really the idea of saying you're not allowed to read this because it is bad offends me Well, yeah, but you're an intelligent person, and I trust you not to, not, not to get sucked into it. I suppose, really, it's just a case of educating people. If but you I, can't drop the educating if they don't have access to your material. I know, but you want them to. You want to. I'm not saying give it out to everyone in the on the street corner and say, "Oh, read this," and then form an opinion. But, but giving people that want to experience that the right to do that seems like the proper thing to do. Well, it feels, um, for that book in particular, it doesn't all feel a bit fascist to say no. Oh, yeah, I mean, just, mm. Well, I sort of, well, I agree with the Warner Brothers uh, attitude where they, they kept putting out their old cartoons, which are a bit, you know, racist now, mm. but they have a disclaimer at the front. Um, and I don't think you... I, I don't think we should pretend like we should wipe traces from mine camp, of mine camp from existence. No, absolutely. Um, but I don't think it should be made available in like public libraries. Well, I, I think I disagree. I, the fact that you can get your hands on the Communist Manifesto, yeah, when good the Communist Party's actions have led to, you know, significant history changing. I don't know if it classifies as genocide, but a lot of fucking people died. Yeah, but that's not an intrinsic part of communism, is it? No, but it's a consequence of communism. Okay. Of that particular representation of communism. But it's a, it's Stalinist policies, really, rather than the Stalinist and Maoist policies, rather than communism itself. Okay, but you get my point. No. Oh, well. It's you not. Should. It's not like the Communist Manifesto is advocating for putting people in gulags. Well, maybe not in heavenly. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> it's depends, not. How, depends how well you read between. Communism the lines. Communism doesn't inherently result in deaths. Well, what you meant. Nazism to do does. Once you've overthrown the bourgeoisie and seized the means of production, what are you meant to do? What do you mean, what are you meant to do? Exactly. What are you meant to do? Once you've seized the means of production, then what are you meant to do? <laughs> Kill the rich, be gay. That is the dream. Yeah. I mean, it's easier. <sighs> you know where you stand. B -b 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 I have I have listened to the Communist Manifesto. Okay. Two years back. Uh. Whereas I have struggled to get a copy of Mein Kampf. How do you struggle? It's on the internet. I want a physical copy to read through. Yeah, buy one off Amazon. I looked. All the versions I could find were just ad ad um, adaptations. Um, analyses? Yeah, that's it. Analysis of it. Rather than... Really? Genuinely. It was a few years back now, last time I looked, so maybe it's different now, but it, it was... Oh, well, look at that. Ironically, you can't find the, <laughs> the uh, mine camp anywhere. Not ironic. I don't... I think it's... It's sort of like the restricted section at Hogwarts. I don't know why. I, do, again, I just... I don't... You know... Seems ridiculous. I think you have to understand that most people are stupid and society has an obligation to protect itself from them. Giving them access oh, to uh, one of the most sendry works 
history. Yes, but give it long enough and Harry Potter will be considered one of the most incendiary works in human history. It's the way things are going. Doubt it. And, I, and I've got a copy of it on my Audible account. I have been I've been made aware that they are all on Netflix. Yes, I've seen. Um and the boy is eight years old, and I was wondering realistically how many of the films he could see at this at this age. Um and how many are suitably appropriate. And I've come to the conclusion that I think Prisoner of Azkaban is the last one for an eight year old. Knowing what I know of him. Well, he's your eight year old. I feel like Prisoner of Azkaban is, is like Goblet of Fire is where it where it turns. The series turns. Like there's a few dark bits in the first three, but four is the is the real turning point for it. So I've come to the conclusion. I'm Why don't you just show him them all? Well, if you let me finish. Sorry. I was I've come to the conclusion that I'm gonna wait until he's ten years old and then go through all of them. Right. Because if anything's gonna put him off wanting to go to Hogwarts when he's eleven. It'll be that. Right. I think he could probably do it now, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Jeff Jeff's Jeff. doing well. Jeff's turned 30. Congratulations, Jeff. Older than us. Well done. Yeah. Because by the time you hear this, we'll have had our birthday. Yeah. As mentioned in the last video that you wouldn't have seen. Happy birthday to us. What did you do? Okay. Uh, I don't know. I haven't done it yet. Right. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna treat myself to a to a a um, bit of fast food and a waffle from Waffleopolis. Waffleopolis, even. Waffleopolis. It's a place in town. Um. That. Uh, Sells waffles, believe it or not. We've got a waffle place, I think. And I had a, had a Kinder Bueno one last time, and it was it was so rich and lovely. I I almost I was one. I can't remember what the uh, what the place was called, but there is a dessert restaurant at the uh, the city nearest to me. Right. Do you know the name of? I think I don't. Well, you know the big one. London? What? I... Peterborough. Hey, Peterborough, right, okay. What, the fucking, the fucking, how do you not know? Is Peterborough a city? I thought it was just a... Yes, Peterborough's a city. Okay. Fucking dump is what Peterborough is, but go on. Yes, but it's still a city. Certain parts of London are a dump. Like Parliament. <laughs> it's all fun of shit. A bit of satire for you. Clever, Are you putting more people's phone numbers? I can't order? help it. I talk to them and they automatically give it to me. Oh, you like it when they give it to you, do you? Why does Gobble want to dig? What? Why does Gobble want to dig? What do you mean? When it comes up in the... When I... I, I... I always think you're not looking at what... You mean this? Yes. It's a HM. But, but... It's not a HM, okay. but it's an uh, overworld move. Okay, why does he want to dig? What he, uh, he can dig. It, well, he can't really. It just it, it gets me out of caves and stuff. You're not in a cave. I know. But it it will it surf. When I get surf, it will come up. When I'm in buildings, it lets me know what overworld moves I've got. So it's is for it, ease of access. Is it suggesting that you should flood a building? No, it's just for ease of access. Well, I think you should flood a building. Seize the means of production. Flood that building. So, um... Yeah. It's not a far-fetched idea. Oh, get your leg. You indeed. Hmm. Got bed sores. You seem like the sort of chap who has bed sores. Don't spend enough time in bed. Yes. Yeah. What? I don't know. It's just you in bed. I, just... I don't spend enough time in bed. It suddenly gets you. Well, you know, in it's, bed. it's word association, isn't it? Look, everyone has a bed. I know. 
Did you just try and use Dig on the floating Pokemon? Yeah. That shouldn't work. Really? Well, let's see who's right, shall we? No, I'm not saying it won't work. I'm saying it shouldn't work. There's an inherent difference in those statements. Yes, there is. No, you're right. It shouldn't work. It may not work. It may have levitate in this version. I'm not sure. Um, but we will see. It won't matter because Keith's going to beat it anyway. Not necessarily. See. No, that makes sense. Yeah, it hit it. I think that's ridiculous. I kind of do too. See where you're but coming you, from. You, you seem shitty with me when I first suggested it. You because it seemed like that. you were suggesting I was an idiot for trying it. No, no, not no. Really it trying. seemed the, like you were suggesting. Okay, not but you, that's what you, you were suggesting. You overreacted. No, I didn't. Not, no, I didn't. Well, provided the context, the appropriate context. Yes, you were. No. God, you're just like the anti-Semite community. It always pissed me off when people were got pissy with Jeremy Corbyn for being an anti-Semite and said, I won't vote for Labour, they're the party racism, and then they fucked off and joined the Tories. These people yeah. only the, they only care when it affects them. Remember that, children. True. I feel like no, we okay. do give a lot of good life lesson videos. I wouldn't do that, sure. I do believe my download that I was doing has finished. So it was. I'm going to pop you over to my second screen briefly. You've got two the... monitors, have you? Yeah. You work... Is that helpful when you work from home? Because I have two monitors in the office and it's great. Ah, uh, you see, I don't use two monitors for work when I am at home. I have my work on my main monitor, the one on the left. I'm going to have right. stuff like Discord and Teams and Spotify on my right-hand side. And sometimes, if I'm in a listen-to-something-on-YouTube mood. Well, I like working from two, and it's sort of... It's ruined me. I don't know whether I can really ever fully appreciate having one nowadays. Two's definitely the best when it comes to work. Yes. I absolutely say that. Some, some jobs are so much easier when it comes to two. It is very helpful, yeah. Oh, lovely. I believe this game might work. I'm Because it's very evident that you're bored of the sharks game. Of course I am. There's, you're not doing anything. What are you doing? Killing sharks? No, eating people. Okay. Killing sharks. Well, I know you may well be bored of Pokemon, but it's not like I'm not making progress. And it's not understandable what the progress is. You know. I showed you on the map. What? Uh, what's the new game? Or well, not this it's week, a game you... but next It's week. a game... No, I'll... It, yeah, I mean, no, I'll, I'll play it this time. I won't. I won't do the shark game today. Okay, so are we not doing the shark game next week? No, I think I'll, we'll, we'll call it if you're bored of it. It's look. I've said it before. I'll say it again. It's your time. I know. You what I, I know. think I, means I absolutely fuck all. Invested. And it does most of the time, to be honest. With you. Yeah. I want you to at least be mostly invested. Well, that's up to you. I, 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 I said I want you to be at least mostly invested. I know. That's why I said that's up. Yes, that is up to you. I agree. Do you want to know what the game is then? Or... Yes, please. It's a game you've played before. It's called Rome Total War. Oh, can you. Okay. I've Only a bit. I played it a bit. Can you marry people oh. in that? Uh, Probably. Is it like Clash of Crusader Kings? That's kind of fun. I like that. I think so, but a lot simpler. Okay. Well, uh, that'll be interesting. I look forward to, to that. That so... sounds like sarcasm. No, I no, I do. What did you think of Man Eater? I have enjoyed it for the most part. I want to play it in a non-discussion context before I write the review. Okay, sure. Which makes sense, I think. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. But uh, yeah, we have very Talking different views of games because I that wouldn't have done it for me at all. I think I need a bit more from my game than uh, being shit and filling quotas. You got to remember, I've got a very dull job. Hi, colleagues, if you're seeing this, you he's an assistant accountant. I mean, let's be honest, it's not. I'm very good at what I do. 
You see, you say that, but... No, I, I'm damn good at what I do. Well, you say that, but... You know what, I'll keep this down. <laughs> you ever watched Time Commanders? No. Well, that was based off the Rome Total War engine. Essentially, it was it was Rome Total War, but with teams. You had uh, you and your three friends. Two of you were generals, and two of you were uh, commanders. Generals. I think I'd have done quite Made well. The decision. Uh, and I saw it through. Right, let's talk to I, this um, weird guy in this Pokemon Center. See what he says. I actually sold a copy of Rome Total War to one of our old schoolmates back when we were at school. Who was it? Thirty. Right. Yeah. Trade decorations. No, thank you. But we will. Uh... Well, I actually can't give, give give two shits for bases. I think they're basically fine. We get a bike. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Um, go for acro. Okay, so, what is the actual difference between the two? I've made a mistake. Okay, so Mac is faster. Mm -hmm. And acro, you can do uh, little tricks on, like you can bunny hop and stuff. So you can navigate certain obstacles within the game. But uh, those obstacles aren't really present at the minute. Uh, uh, yeah. Well then. Uh, oh boy, I sure hope it lets me stream this game to you. Lucky <laughs> egg. Someone beat their horn. Hmm. I'm sat in a very dark room on a sunny Saturday afternoon. Well, I've got the window open. I would, but it's noisy. it gets noisy outside because the kids play. They're not playing right now, but I didn't know that they wish I would or not. <laughs> Are you intentionally bumping into everyone's fights? Well, there's trainers on this path, and I can't never remember which is which ones are, they are. I can pick out a few out, but I don't know for sure. Um, okay, but are you deliberately trying to fight everyone? Yeah. Okay. Well, I've got to, you that, see. That was the question. Because there's a... Um, it wasn't. It didn't sound like it. But the... the it, it was, but... The, um, the challenge is... Um, there's a challenge to cycle it in, like... It, there's a time limit. Not even a time limit, but you're tested. Your time is taken. Uh, it'll make more sense when I show you. And it's a bit of a nightmare trying to do a good time when you've got people who want to kick your ass. She's a triathlete. Okay. Yeah. I fancied a girl called Abigail once. Did you? Yeah. Did I know them? I think so. Yes, I did. I'm not sure you did. I did. I know who you mean. Life was simpler back then. Was it? Yeah, absolutely it was simpler back then. For you, maybe. It's got me different like, me. In like 2009, 2010, life was so simple. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't. It Yesterday wasn't. or the day before, it was like seven years since I went to watch a cricket game with some of the lads. Right. And we were talking about how it feels like it's been so much longer. And I was like, yeah, but think about everything that's happened in the last seven years. We're talking the Brexit vote. We're talking COVID. We're talking all the shit that went on with the X. So much shit has happened in the last seven years, just to me. And let alone everyone. You know. It's, it's a crazy, crazy... Well, I still think it's easier now. Thing. I'm not convinced. I think he's been a bit fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Are we keeping you up? No. At five to two in the afternoon. 
Well, I do like to nap sometimes, but uh, I don't think today is a nappy day. Do I need to call you Tum Tum? What? Do I need to call you Tum Tum? Tum. Yes. I wonder if anyone other than you will get that reference. Norlax is my favourite Pokemon. And, and you always uh, call it Tum Tum. And whenever I get one, I call it Tum Tum on account of his tummy. Hence the reference. But I don't think Snorlax is in this game. I think it is. I don't know. I have no idea where you'd find it. Maybe it's a trade. But I don't think I'll use it. Because we've already got a good normal type. Yeah, and I have no idea when I'd get, be able to get it, so. Well, then. Oh, God, this guy. Ride, 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 ride. There. You know you don't have to actually. But you do. Well, I thought I should. We're not. This uh, commentary isn't isn't our usual zingy uh, stuff, is it? Some of it's been great. Maybe that's maybe that's a problem with recording outside of our Thursday time. But I've got some. Diet Coke in me, I've had a lovely Chinese. I've got Dr. Pepper today. No work. Dr. Pepper is great. I prefer Dr. Pepper to Diet Coke. I decided to have a Dr. Pepper rather than open the side of it I've got in the fridge. Maybe I'll have the cider later. Grill, as we discuss drinks. Ha ha ha. Do you know why I decided to get some cider? Um, I don't know, does it play into what you said earlier about being easy? Nope. Uh, because I... Uh, Is it for Rosie? A particular song put me into the mood for Cider. And the song is Book Rogers by Feeder. Um, and I, I played it to the boy, who I play certain songs to on occasion if I think he'll like them. Slam. And he did like... He did quite like um, that track. Probably pointless having two dark moves of power. It just sort of remind me, uh, whenever I watch a documentary about John Wayne Gacy, I always fancy a KFC. Because he used to work okay. at KFC. Makes me want chicken. Well. Understandable. Yeah. It's annoying living where I live at the minute, because um, the only place that really delivers, we get the pizza places, but we also need really... We don't get McDonald's and we don't get Burger King, we get KFC. So if I'm in the mood for something like that, as opposed to pizza, I can only get KFC, which is my least favourite of the three. That's understandable. We have a KFC in our vicinity. They don't deliver to this end of town. Where is it? it? Opposite end of town. Right. Give me some landmarks. There isn't any. Where it's, where is it's it? On the outskirts. So it's is like it near McDonald's? A16. No, if you go down the A16 towards. Peter I don't know road, road numbers. Well, then if you go towards Stephen St Nick. I don't know where that is. Okay, so what? Well, when I said there's no landmarks, and you want to know where it is, I can't tell you. I can't help you. <laughs> I literally can't help you because you don't know anywhere. Is it near? Um. The uh, Thunderbolt. Is it near the cinema? No, it's not in town. It's on the outskirts of the town. Like, uh, the outskirts of, of the entire town. All right, then. <laughs> you know the road I used to live on, the one that, that was on the river? Yes. If you followed that away from town, you followed it all the Which way Which direction away from town? Well, one way went towards town, one way went away from town. Yeah, so... but it would go away from town eventually, wouldn't it? <sighs> ben, are you being deliberately on future? Right now? No. Fucking sounds like it. From where I used to live, actually on from my house, one way would head towards town, and one would head. Looks quite away new. What does this KFC? Yeah, it's been there for maybe. It, it's been there since after I moved into the flat. Look at that. You found it then. 
I'm Googling it. Okay. Well, they had an incredibly bad reputation for being a bit shit. Like, you could be the only one in there and it still take 20 minutes to get you through. Mm. Which is not really good. And they don't deliver to this end of town, even though it's literally... What, what do you get McDonald's and Burger King delivered? Well, not Burger King, but we don't have one here, do we? And it was from Boston or Peterborough. They need more Burger Kings. Uh, I, I Burger King is my favourite. I could get a McDonald's delivered. I always feel a bit cheeky doing that, because I'm like five minutes right. Oh, I don't know. Show a bit of leg. What, walk it? <laughs> no. Produce your Uber driver. Who's your... We don't even get Uber. Who's your we charms. get Uber. We don't get Uber. Yeah, but he's... Okay, you... My point still stands. They're never my type. I don't, who cares? My cycling skills border on terrifying. Well, your mates kept trying to kill me. Let's see if I can do it the best possible time. Done it a few times before. What does it count as a collision? If I run into anything. Including anything at all. Okay. Like that, ow. One. Oh. 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 Yeah, that's the second best. I'll do it uh, once more. Wouldn't be so bad if the sky would stop messing about. I suppose it's a bit like playing Snake. Ah. Uh. I guess. Right. Uh, uh, fuck. A lot harder on my uh, Xbox controller than it is on. Uh, that's better. Yeah, I need to do it without any collisions, but uh, I don't think we're going to be able to manage that this time. Hey ho! But I have done it. I wonder if I haven't seen it. Does it really count? It's like yeah. that whole tree falling in the woods thing. So did you not need to be on the other side of that? No, that leads back to um You know that you know this that we walked over? Oh the town. This this path. Yeah yeah, I know that, but it leads back to the town. Yeah, and so does the cycling road. But we didn't have a bike, so we weren't allowed on the cycling road, so we had to go in the underpass. Oh. Um that leads to stuff then? You know what? I reckon we can take the gym. No, I think we'll be just fine. Ooh. How long will we be going? Not that long. I suppose it's got to be about 50 minutes, isn't it? About 50 minutes, yeah. Mm, okay. And uh, it's probably less than that, really. I don't know why I keep here. Because so you are dipshit. Where's me sand? There's me sand. Oh. I'm going to reposition myself so I'm a bit more comfortable. Stretch my legs out a bit. Hey, Wally, you and me, let's go. Where's the cat gone? Yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> let's destroy this child's hopes. What, are you going to... Oh, he's there. got three. He used to only have uh, the one in the original game, but they've, they've changed it up. He really is stronger. You really are a fucking nerd, aren't you? Fuck you. What, are you offering? No. No. No, point, point is, like, I'm a bit of a nerd. What? You are a bit of a nerd. Okay. Knowing which Pokemon, how many Pokemon each individual character had. Not one. each individual character. This this is a uh, a, a story centered battle. Of course, I remember it, and it's distinctive because he's only got he's still only got his routes, shit, and it's very easy to beat him. That's why it's memorable. Yeah. Well, now he's got a Magnemite, but it doesn't seem to know how to avoid getting hit by something that's flying out of the ground, even though it floats. The, the... Disgraceful. Disappointed. 
Magma might come back down. You know, I wish I was more of in the world at the moment. Oh, I don't know, licorice. I don't really like licorice. Right. Stupid comedies. Um. Okay. Bars, like, but... you mean? I think that's the grown-up work for, word for it. Potentially, but I, I'm an immature individual. I will use whatever word I want. Okay. The kind of I, I want to watch more modern films that are like, say, Austin Powers. Right. Or, I suppose, Airplane. Which I wouldn't necessarily put in the same category as each other, but you can sort of see what I mean. Get out of here, kid. Are you going to go to a Pokemon Center? No, I don't need to. Even though you've, you've got some orange PP. What? Some of your um, attacks. Oh, fuck off, Scott. I hate this guy. Comes out of nowhere and just like, oh, yeah, you're really good. Like, yeah, I know. Thank you. Piss off. Right. Uh... Yeah, right, I do. Right, I do. Big is the thing I need to use. I am paying attention. Good. Thank you. Ooh. At least one of us is. I hope you pay this much attention when I'm trying to take over the Mediterranean. Yes, I will. It'll be fun. I'm not sure which which civilization I want to start as. What are your options? Maybe let's well, talk, let's talk about this when we're <laughs> your game. I think because uh, we don't want to you know, burn through it now. There should be a lot of options. Okay. Just a depth of time. Hopefully it'll work, we'll have to see. Oh, we'll see, yeah. Why do you keep getting double teams? Hang on, if you were to speak to one of them, would it be possible for you to engage in a fight with one of them instead of both of them? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're deliberately fighting both of them? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they uh, got really big on, on that for this. Uh, mostly just for Gen 3 they did that. Um... That just two random trainers, and if you if both of them looked at you at the same time, you fought both of them. Yeah. But uh, and they sort of dropped that a bit. I feel I feel like realistically, it'd be better if you fought for one, and then the other one was like, actually, you know what? <laughs> I think I'll let you go. Yeah. Certainly, the more likely scenario. Well, our team is. Uh... Coming together. Is that how in, in the other games where you can be like not Pokemon games but regular games where you're say like Skyrim, you'll you'll just kill a fucking dragon and then some bandit will come up to you and be like, Give me your purse. <laughs> it's like I've just killed a fucking dragon. Well that's it's you the really old, think uh, you've got a chance. The old <laughs> Japanese fighting fish thing, isn't it? You, you like in uh, from Russia with love. You let Every now and then, you'll get a, a fighting fish who's clever, and he'll let two fighting fish fight. One of them will die, and one of them will be tired out, and that's when our third character strikes. So perhaps that's the mugger's thinking. You're you're worn out and in no place to resist. You just fought a dragon. Yeah, but normally it's a one-shot kill. Right. But I'm quite good at archery in Skyrim. Well, I bet you've got very sore arms. No. That's a new move. It's a video game. Keith's defense harshly fell. Just like when Keith went to court to try and get his kids. Yes. And uh, they pointed out all those all those Asian MILF websites. Pregnant Asian MILF websites he's uh, subscribed to. And it was very embarrassing and uh, suddenly his, his chances fell apart. Although, to be fair, not the worst genre. I'll take your word for it. Oh, fuck's sake, Keith. I'm going to ask you a question. I don't want detail. I'm going to ask you a question. 
You don't mind detail, or you don't no, want I, detail? No, I don't, I don't want detail. Okay. I, I'm not going to go ask any follow-up questions at all. Right. Just, I'm asking you this one question. It's a simple yes or no question. Do you look at porn? I don't think that's any of your concern. <laughs> I'd say yes. Why are you asking me that? Oh, because we know I do. And seeing as you mentioned Keith's pregnant Asian milf habit, mm. I figured I'd, I'd make it personal. Right. You don't get off like. Well, you probably do get off lightly, to be fair, but. Better go heal. Chancy would be a fine thing. Oh my god, who's that on the left? What? Pay attention, that's the crazy guy. We've talked to him before. Have we? He offered to trade decorations. We don't oh. have any. I must have missed that. Was that while I was checking out if that game was working? Mm, I don't know, maybe. Well, in that case, I kind of... justified that I wasn't necessarily paying attention at that point. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Don't ask me what a bug maniac's doing here. Like Why he's got you. an electric type? Could have a bug type. That's. Is the kid not a bug electric? No. Uh, I'm shocked. <sighs> Are you annoyed by the power now? Yeah. Mm, I've got berries. I've got berries. I can, I'll give them berries. I'll bite them. I like the buzz. You can buzz off. So does the other one get to put out a second Pokemon now? What do you mean? Well, we, we, we have the two trainers, yeah? Yeah. Um, One put out one Pokemon and one put out the other. And you defeated one's, both of one's Pokemon. Yeah. So I don't think... No, he doesn't, no. Okay, because no. I, I feel like it would be fair if they did get to. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you should dig. Yeah, I will. If this is the one that's got fucking... <laughs> He's got uh, the thing. Bloody better not. Gobble. The iron defense probably isn't going to matter too much, because this thing's steel and electric and four times weak to ground. Yeah, see. Well, what's super effective? Same type attack yeah. bonus. Good move. Box sand. Pretty neat. Yeah, you see, I don't care about that. I do what I do. Usually works. Okay, I can fight this guy. Yeah. So, how has the last couple of days been? Well, I had a day at work. Oh yeah, that's right. Which was fine. Got a lot of things finished, and now I'm off for a week. And then, uh, well, and then it's today, which I went out for breakfast, and that's pretty much all I've done. I haven't had lunch, because it was a big breakfast. I couldn't finish it. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, it's not that interesting. No, it's it's riveting. I wouldn't get that. Pur -pur 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 -pur. Super effective. Yep. If you could hug any Pokemon, who would it be? Tum Tum. <laughs> How did I know that'd be the answer? Uh, um, so many cherry berries, right? What, Keith? Right, fuck it, we're raw dogging it. Jesus Christ, Ben. What? Why would you raw dog it? 
Because that just means we're going in without hearing it. No, it doesn't. We're getting stuck in there. It means going in without protection. Yeah, exactly. We haven't healed. We don't have any protection. I haven't put any berries on or anything. Oh my god. The least you could do is wear some rubber. Oh, uh, yeah, that would help actually, but uh, that's not programmed well, into the game. <laughs> I know, I know. You think that basically everything I say is is aimed at some sort of inappropriate joke, but actually, you know, I do think about what I'm going to say. Yeah, I bet. Hard work being this weird it doesn't come entirely naturally. Well, that's pointless. Well, Badger, was... I suppose. Electrode is a pointless Pokemon, isn't it? It's fast. It's, it was the fastest. The first 151. Very okay, fast. But, but it is a ball. Yeah, that does help. But it has no point on it. Oh, right, I see. If you have to explain the joke, it probably wasn't a very good joke. Keith is out there giggling away at that. And if you're not, Keith, I'm let down and you should let us know. Because it wasn't been sniffing good. paint again. Well, someone's got to do it. Someone's got to make sure that the paint isn't going to make you high. Is that his new <laughs> job? Yeah, paint. Sniffing. Somebody, some business owner is taking pity on him and said, all right, just, I don't know, sit in, sit in the corner and sniff the paint. Pay your pittance so you can get all the paint to sniff as you want. See, this is really quite offensive towards Keith. I'm sure, I'm sure Keith's a lovely person. Keith doesn't exist. Keith is a hypothetical. Keith. We can be as cruel to Keith, him as Keith. we like. No, we can't. We need to be nice to Keith. Keith is the one person who likes our videos. Not recently, he hasn't. Well, this, this, the last few haven't gone out yet, so... Boop, 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 boop. What the fuck is Magnazone? It's what Magneton evolves into. Jesus Christ, I am out of there. You played Legends Arceus. It's in Legends Arceus. That doesn't mean I paid attention to Arceus. That was a fun what experience, are... though, you and I playing that together. Sort of together. Yeah, it was nice to At the same time. Yeah. I think I found your bag once. Well, that, yeah, maybe. I've not played it since, you know. Well, I... Oh, Keith. Fine. Yes, Keith is final... His final evolution. You need to stop slacking off. Uber Keith. Unter Keith. Da. Looks rather like you. No. I got more teeth. Swagger. Keith ain't got no swagger. Ain't got no swagger. What a shiny forehead. Yeah. I know someone can work that way. Yeah, mine's pretty massive at present. The receding head oh. hairline is uh, withdrawing more and more with each passing hour. Can you hear it receding like you can sort yeah. of hear bamboo growing? Yes. <laughs> it would keep me awake at night. <laughs> Right. I suppose that's a natural stopping point. You suppose incorrectly. Well, heal up and end it, I would say. Well, I, mean, I like to make these ones a little bit longer, just so there's fewer episodes. Yeah, but you've done a, you've done a gym. Yeah, I've done a gym, but uh, okay, I'll I'll tell you what. We'll um, I'll go down here and fight these trainers, and then I want to show off the game corner, and then we'll call it. How about that? All right. Yeah, that'll work. Because it is getting close enough. So. But, but, but let's be honest, it is a natural stopping point. No, you're right, it yeah. absolutely is, yeah. Same, the time doesn't match up. Uh, look, the longer I make these videos, the less videos you have to sit through me doing this. Okay, but it's so low effort for me. <laughs> but, you know... I half arts all these anyway. I can extra half arts these. Ba, ba, ba. Body slam. Right, Keith, finish it. One hit. Let's go. Yeah. That's my pen. That is my pen. Yeah, I told you Keith would be good at some point. 
Yeah. Except he's, he, he's, he, he's got Truant back, so he's not going to do anything for the next turn. If only his missus had stuck it out. It's alright, Keith. I've got your back. You'll do what? Um, I said I've got his back. Oh, I said... But you said something else. No, well I didn't. I thought you did. Yeah, yeah. You need to listen. Oh shit. Macburn. Got two Honestly, normies. Dave, pull your finger out. Oh, rock on. Right. I wonder when this thing even evolves. I have a feeling it's 37. Shit, we're pretty high leveled. I only just noticed that. Oh, you know. See, this is what having EXP all does. Mm. Plus that extra thing. Yeah, and the lucky, lucky egg, egg, which I think is just in my bag at the minute. Ah, someone's got to be holding it. Uh, so, have you got any plans for your week off? No, and everyone asks me that. It pisses me off. Right. Because it's like, no, what part of me, being me, makes you think that I'll have what plans? Like, let me... Uh, well, never, you, never, often I, often I ask that question, you say, well, I'd like to get this thing done. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's never anything solid. It's... It would be great to get a load of writing done. I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm out of some of it, but it's not. I'm not planning to get it all done. I'm just. Oh, if it no. gets when it gets done. I need to get I my don't diary up to date. The, the, the only plan I've got for my birthday is that rather than have my partner over on Tuesday night into Wednesday, she's going to be over Wednesday night into Thursday because it's birthday. And she's got to go somewhere on Thursday that's near. Basically, the place we went for breakfast today, she's got to be there Thursday morning. So it was like a drive into that. Where'd you go for breakfast this morning? Uh, you know the large shopping centre? Yeah. Yeah, there's a garden centre there, and they've got a cafe in there. Oh, they do breakfast. I didn't know that. Hmm. Yeah. I didn't realise that's where it was. Yeah, Keith's got the lucky egg. Uh, Right. Yeah. Well, I, I my plan, as I said, I'm going to get a, a, some fast food in. I don't know what yet. Ideally, it would be McDonald's. Or and I'm going to get one of those waffles. And I've got um, some cigarillos that I got when I was in the Maldives. And I'm going to have one of those. And just have a nice Ooh. little bit of reflection. Wow. Well. You'll have to do something big for your 30th. Yeah, we were talking about it on the way to breakfast with Connor, but I'm not really fussed about it. She knows that I'm not fussed about birthdays. They're not such a big deal to me, but if I was going to make fuss, it would be next year. Yeah, I she am fussed like, oh, you about should have birthdays. A she was like, oh, you should, have a, you should have a party, and I know the flat's not very big, so you can have a mine if you want it. I'm like, next year? We'll talk about it closer to it. <laughs> well, I would have a party, but as well you know, I don't have any friends. True. There are very Why? few people in my life I feel deserve to bask themselves in my presence. Gratcha well done. Well, I mean, I am however many miles away from you right now. I'm not really basking in anything. Totally. You are just a voice on the end of a digital phone line. My God. I don't know. God's more interesting. You'd fucking I was talking so. to God right now. I'd probably be having a more riveting conversation. What would you ask? Let's pretend I'm God. Well, how many questions do I get? As many as you like, I'm God. Well, in that case, I'd probably just start by asking the big the big ones. Okay, let's go. What actually happened to Kennedy? Oh, um... No, yeah. I don't expect you to give me an answer. Okay, I... You're not, well, you're not I, actually God. Well, I am fucking God in this scenario, so... Uh, he was... It was an accident, the CIA did it, and then they covered it up. And then, where did it all go wrong for me? Oh God! Well, I'm God, <laughs> but I, uh, I, uh, even with omnipotence, I do not have the fucking time to go into that. Am I actually going to go to hell? <sighs> nah. Exactly. I'm not really going to go to hell. I'm you're not, not going I'm... to hell. You're you're getting to heaven. Just gotta, 
you're just going to address some things first. Uh, maybe be nicer to your pal. This has just reminded me. A while back, I wrote a review of Heaven is a Halfpipe by OMP. Right. Or maybe it's OMC. I can't remember now. OAP. Anyway, Heaven is a Halfpipe. And in it, they say, they talk about how it, he'd want if Jesus to be a DJ, spinning dub all night long, and how, like, people would be packing bongs with him and stuff. And BBC Radio 2 played it, and they played the word bong. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, given the drug connotations, I was very surprised. Right. I, I was incredibly surprised that they... they Let's jump down this hole in the floor. Oh, where are we now? Oh, it's a secret bit. Right, so this machine... Not a wonder trade machine, but you're essentially buying random Pokemon. Ten grand. So what we're going to do, just sign off the episode, we're going to spend all our money on free Pokemon. Just, let's just see what we get. Well, not free if you're spending all your money on it. <laughs> free <laughs> Pokemon. I hope you get something worth adding. So do I. If you could get anything, what would it be? Um. Like, if you could get what you wanted, what would it be? Well, I've got my eye on something. Oh, what? A, a Hoini and Gumi. Not that. It involves no, into something Gucci. big and cuddly, and I like that. Isn't Gumi a bit like a slug? It's a big ball of goo. Yeah. You know that SCP that's basically a tickle monster? No, stop me. Well, in this version of this game, it's that. Okay, fair enough. Come on, imagine if, got, if, imagine if you got a tum tum. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Oh, Cyndaquil. I know. Well, maybe. You know me, I'm a fire type fan. I've never even burned anything down. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. Version the the uh, Hawaiian form. Imagine if you had. Come on, come on, come on. No. It's your ex's favourite. I say Basic your ex is our ex's favourite. Basic bitch. <laughs> this fucking guy who starts with Charmander. Oh, uh, I know what I'm doing with Charmander. Oh well, we didn't get it this time, but uh, I, I know how to work with a Charmander. Or next time. I should say Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Charmander! Charmander. Hmm. I know how to work with a Charmander. Just have a look and see what we're working with. Yeah. Oh, a huge power. Fucking hell, that's alright. Quiet nature. Yeah. You understand what this means? Not a fucking clue. Right. But I don't care either, so. The thing in red is increased, the thing in blue is decreased. It's up special attack, down speed. Yeah, but those, those colours are the wrong way around. What do you mean? Red is bad. Yeah, and I thought that when I started as well. I think it's a Japanese thing. Mm. Don't bullshit. Well. Did you keep any of them Pokemon on you? I don't intend to, no. Oh, okay. Casino cart. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, you're going to let me gamble wherever. Oh, bet all your money. I ain't got any money. You've got 300 into me. Yeah, but I need to buy... Oh, I can, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can buy Galarian... Um, legendary birds. A million. Well, I don't have a million. Well, you might do if you bet all your money. See, don't don't succumb to his argument. Okay, well we're gonna have to go back up to get there. Yeah, this seems like a long hard walk. Yeah, this is that tunnel I spoke about later earlier. You spoke about later. Oh, it's Wally. 
Hmm, look at you. So we'll uh, go heal and then we'll uh, we'll piss away what little remains of our money. Woo! You might as well. What what what? Where do you need money when you can just mug people? True. I'm not going to be short of it. Exactly. So I don't buy a lot of healing items anyway, as a rule. What? Rather than uh, play the games to get the tokens to get a Polygon or whatever it was I was after at the time. I just bought tokens. Yeah, you can do it. That's an easy way to do it. Right, like, just did it. But it's a fun what? little side game if you're interested, I suppose. It took so long because of how many you can get at a time. This away the money! Right. Spend it! What's your poison? Roulette or...? Roulette. Oh, I need to. Oh shit! I actually do need to buy some coins. I've got. Right. Got well done. Not to worry. I've got a nugget. So your nugget. You got more than one, actually. Do I? Yeah, you yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think you. I've seen two, but there might be more. Take my nugs. Do your nuggies. Pearl as well. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, two nuggets. Right. Oh my god, you could send it again. <laughs> yes, okay, what I'll do. All right. <laughs> send a thousand on the token on the on the thingy, the coins. Yes. And then get another mystery Pokemon. And we'll end it there, okay. Yeah. It's maybe like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where um he uh he buys a a, a thing and it fails. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to work out how this works before we do it because I've got an idea. Social radio with uh, so what you got to do? You're gonna pick a color or a Pokemon. Yeah? Yes, I can pick individual. I can pick lines. I okay. Can pick this. Uh, go for green. Third one in. Green Skitty. Yeah, do that. That's what. That's what I'm betting. Come on, come on, um, you fucking prick. <laughs> oh, I'm so close. I said fourth one in. Okay, where? Uh, you can't uh, pick entire rows. Uh, first column. First, this one. Yep, but bet more. I don't think I can. Oh, okay. Right, do that, do that. Come on, come on. Why not, why not? Oh. So close. Right, uh, bottom row. That. Yep. Come on, come on, purple. Come on. Oh, fucking we, we keep missing out by one every time. Where now? Uh, second column. Azuril. Let's go. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's the fucking swear. Right. Right, your turn. You pick the last one. Oh no, the one that's two more, isn't it? Okay. Uh, bottom left. Bottom left. This one. Yep. And then you can pick the last one because sure. you might like, bump in something. Come on, come on, come on. Right. It does really, really like that fucking yeah, it does. right hand side, doesn't it? <laughs> fucking prick. Well, at this point, we've um, we're down two. Yeah, the odds are more in our favour, aren't they? Right. So, let's do let's start again. Oh, no, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's... Right. So I can bet as much as you can. Okay. Want to say when? Uh, now. Now. <gasps> now. Oh, Ben! <laughs> you were too slow. Now. Now. Now? Now, now, now. I don't know what this means. Me neither. Nothing good by the looks of it. Well, it hasn't helped. Have we broken the machine? 
No, I think it's just a random chance that. No. Now. Hey, free replay. Now. 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 Hey. Now. 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 Oh, I'll just let you do it now. Okay. I'm getting bored of saying now. And we'll do one for the road. Oh, okay, right. Let's go get off to uh, make our final gamble of the night. It's half past two. This probably stale, stinks of stale I'm, cigarettes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that this is gonna be a water type. No. No, it's really not. But that could actually be quite good. Ah, so. Hooray! Have you got it there? Have a look at it. Same, it's such a low level. Can never be one hit KO'd. Special type down. Bad, actually. Um. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. But uh, for now. Hooray for Nogis! And. Uh, Bye. Don't gamble, but, kids. But if you do, remember, when the fun stops, stop. Yeah. You know, I say that about bedroom stuff as well. Okay. The house always mm. wins. Yeah, it's true. Especially um, if I've got secret cameras. Okay, well on that, Marvin Gaye note. Good night. Hang on, Marvin Gaye?